Hi Libra, welcome to your September 2021 general tarot reading. For those of you who are new to this channel, hi, I'm Bess and Intuitive Tarot. I know I'm freaking late on your reading, you guys. I can explain. Last week I had all you guys' readings done and I uploaded them. I went to click on the playback. There was no sound coming from any of the videos. I was like, what? I go scurry over to my microphone and look at the wire and there's little kitten chew marks on it. My new kitten Merlin had a blast with the microphone. So needless to say, mom here has been playing catch up. So thank you for your patience. Any information about booking private reading or the link to the extended can be found pinned at the top of the comments below in the description box as well. And the up and coming meet and greet with the awesome Rambling Mike's Tarot is approaching us on November 6th. So if you want to hang out with us for dinner, laughs and drinks and reads, um, the link is below to his website where you can get your ticket, okay? Let's begin your reading. I'm bringing back an old spread that I used to use. Um, I've taken a break from it, but I'm excited to bring it back to you. It's a, a little, it's my version of a Celtic cross spread. So let's do this. What do we have for Libra, please? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for their general message, whether in career, money, love, family, what's going on with them? Two more shuffles for my Librans. One and two. Let's rock this deck for my lovely Libras. So, let's take a look at your present situation. What's going on with you, Libra? Ooh, nice, the strength card. Major Arcana for Leo. Right now, Libra, your energy tells me that you are feeling very strong, you're feeling very fierce, and you're feeling very focused on some sort of goal. Whatever that goal is, that's up to you, whether it's a new job opportunity, whether it's starting your own business, whether it's a person that you wanna be romantically involved with, whatever the case may be, you've got your eye on something, okay? You, you look really focused. Now, let's take a look at the influence to this energy. The Six of Wands, Leo energy again, okay? Now, with the Six of Wands being the influence, there's some sort of obstacle that you're overcoming. Okay, because the Six of Wands is that energy of overcoming any challenges, um, any rivalries, any competitors, any insecurities or drama around you. You've got the ball in your hand and now you're like, what? Okay, you've got some sort of amazing opportunity around you and you're feeling really good or you're going to be feeling good if you're not feeling that already. Some of you guys could be in the public eye or you're gaining recognition at your job or you're being promoted and you know it. It's like if it hasn't happened yet, your energy is telling me that you know it's on its way and you're just waiting, okay? But this is beautiful. Now, some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo, just saying. Now, what is in your recent past events? The Six of Swords, Libra energy. In the recent past, you moved on from something that was really stressful, okay? Whether it was office gossip, a conflicting family member, or a love interest that just was not going in the way that you wanted it to. Because the Six of Swords is that energy of yelling out at the top of your lungs, any place but here, spirit. Please take me any place but here, and then moving forward. Some of you guys could actually have physically moved locations. And now I'm getting two sixes for you. So some of you guys could have been seeing a lot of repeated sixes during this time that you made this decision to transition into a new direction, okay? But I love this for you. Sixes are all about balance, harmony, and unity, okay? So that definitely makes sense for what your influence is on the strength energy. Okay, so let's take a look at your goals and what you're focusing on. The Hermit, Virgo energy. This is pretty much telling me that you're still in that stage of trying to figure out where you're actually moving towards. You know you already got out of that stressful environment. Now you're just laying low, keeping to yourself, especially during Virgo season, um, and going within, okay? I feel like what was going on in your life previously was bringing you too much stress and aggravation to the point where you couldn't listen to your intuition even if you tried. Because let's be real, when we're stressed out or we have a lot of conflict around us, it's really hard to uh, have some sort of clear frame of mind. It's really difficult to make decisions when you're stressed out. I know some people can work better under pressure, but I'm feeling like I'm pulling in a Libra that was not that type of person. And you needed a peaceful environment to really figure out where your next course of action in life is going to be. 
okay? I know when I made my big life decisions, I made them while I was withdrawn and kept to myself to where I can actually hear my intuition talk to me. So you're being very low key right now is what I'm feeling while you try to navigate your next step. Now let's take a look at your far distant past. This is your recent past. Now I want to get way before that. The seven of pentacles. You were investing your time and energy into something that you saw a lot of long-term potential. Okay, whether this was a relationship, um, whether this was a friendship, a job situation, a home situation, whatever the case may be. You saw the potential and you began planting your seeds. You started watering your garden. Okay, but looking forward into the near future um, after this energy, you may have realized you were growing weeds in that garden and you didn't want to invest any more of your time. Okay, now you may be seeing the Seven of Pentacles in your recent past as a waste of time. Like, what the hell? I wish I didn't do that. But remember, nothing is a waste of time. Everything happens for a reason. It helps our souls grow. We learned a lot of valuable lessons through all opportunities, whether they are toxic opportunities, whether they are very, you know, uncomfortable opportunities. We learn so much from everything that we do. So now let's take a look at your near future. The moon, Cancer Pisces energy. I've got a strong energy about you just laying low for the time being and not being in a hurry to know what your next step is. Okay, I will clarify with a separate deck to get really nosy because I'm nosy, <laughs> but it is telling me that you feel uncertain right now, but you're okay with that. That's what I'm getting for you, Libra. You're, you're pretty much telling me, Madison, I don't know what my next step is, um, but I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna lay low and just keep to myself a bit and try to trust with my intuition or connect with the divine. Okay, and this is what I'm seeing with all this energy. Some of you guys could have just gone through a huge spiritual growth, a huge spiritual growth spurt. Not a spiritual awakening. I mean, some of you could have, but I'm getting like an energy of you were already very spiritual and you just had a little bit of a growth spurt, okay? A little nudge. So let's take a look at your attitude in all of this, your, your energy. The Five of Wands, Leo energy. Okay, this is telling me that your, your attitude in all this was that it was bringing you too much conflict. Okay, there was someone or someones that were bringing you a lot of stress in your life and Libras don't like that. Libras are peacemakers. Libras like harmony. Libras like everyone being fair to one another. And I feel like there was some toxicity around you and you were like, no, I'm not dealing with this. I'm going to pack up and go. Okay, some of you guys could have left a relationship. Some of you guys could have left um, a work situation. I'm getting that strongly. Let's take a look at the people that you could have been dealing with, Libra. The star, Aquarius energy. Okay, you had people around you that you were expecting a lot of happiness with. You were expecting to reach a lot of wish fulfillment around. You had high expectations and I feel like these people let you down, okay? whether that's your perspective or the actual case, you feel like you, you put a lot of expectations on a situation to work out in your favor and when it didn't, it got you down, okay? Because in the recent past, remember, the Seven of Pentacles was here. You saw something as strong potential and when it didn't work out, you were like, all right, I need to throw in the towel, okay? So what's your hidden emotion? The Two of Wands. You feel like you're at a crossroads in life and you're wanting to take a step back and look at both, you know, opportunities. All right, do I continue the same beaten path that I'm on right now or do, or do I go completely off road and go in an entirely different direction? Because both decisions will lead to some sort of consequence. Every decision we make, every action we take is always, you know, leading to a consequence, whether it's a negative consequence or a positive consequence. And that's why you're just not in any rush to move just yet. So let's get your potential outcome, overall energy, and then I'll start clarifying. Potential outcome. Oh my, Lanta, the Ace of Wands. 
This is you coming in with a very surge of energy, feeling creative again, feeling excited, and feeling jazzed up with all this passion flowing through your body. Remember how I said earlier, it's really hard to make clear decisions when you're stressed out um, and I feel like you weren't in any rush to make this decision. You wanted to lay low and just take care of yourself, love up on yourself a little bit and then just when you're feeling relaxed the most, that's when you're creative. That's when all that creative juices start flowing. All right, I know I cannot be creative when I'm stressed out or I have toxic people around me like bringing my energy down. It's really hard to be creative. That's why a lot of artists um, will have their artist studio where they can paint by themselves or a writer is locked away in a room typing up because too much distraction, too many mixed energies can really um, bring a lot of challenges to someone's creativity. All right, your sacral chakra or your solar plexus chakra may have been very blocked um, with the energies that you were dealing with previously. Okay, so you just needed to charge that. And that's why I'm getting a lot of Leo here, I feel like. Leo is solar plexus. Okay, so let's get the overall energy. The three of cups. You guys, there's going to be so much celebration around the corner. You're not even going to be like, whoa, this is what I've been missing out on all this time. Cancerian energy. Okay, so if you've been feeling doom and gloom with that Six of Swords energy, your luck is going to be turning because where you're going very soon, it's filled with a lot of, a lot of happiness. People on the same page, people supporting one another, you feeling jazzed up. Okay, so I'm going to start clarifying. Wow, how many major arcanas do I have here? I've got one, two, three, four. I have four major arcanas and I love the fact that the outcome is the friggin' Ace of Wands, a brand new start. Okay, I feel like there's something passionate you want to embark on. Look at that, Eight of Wands and the Judgment. The Judgment card is all about rising from the ashes and going through a death and rebirth, feeling revived, all right, revived again. And Eight of Wands is all about travel, communication, forward movement, Eight of Wands. Some of you guys could actually be traveling, all right? So let's take a look. Why is Libra's current energy the Strength card? Why is Libra's current and hold on, I got like an itch. One second. Oh my God, that was bugging me. Hope it wasn't a spider. <laughs> Why is Libra's current energy the strength card? The King of Wands and the Two of Cups. Okay. The King of Wands is telling me that right now you're feeling very attractive. You're feeling very um, optimistic. You're feeling like you just want to take charge of your life. Okay. You may be getting inspired by a soulmate around you, whether this is a best friend, a family member, a colleague, a mentor, a love interest. There's someone around you that is inspiring you to, you know, think outside the box and reach your highest potential, okay? But you have to let something go in order to have something new. Look at this. This is the death and rebirth card. Scorpionic energy. You see how there's a dying cat right here, but there's nine ghost kitties? It's almost telling me that in your recent past, you may have felt like people were just taking turns walking all over you because you're so kind and so generous and you just like to keep the peace. There may have been people just taking turns. All right, my turn to walk on Libra, next. Okay, and you're going through a huge transformation and you're wanting a lot of different things in your life now. The Ace of Wands, look at that, that's beautiful. And that's the Ace of Wands, that's your outcome. So your present energy is connecting to your outcome, okay? You're wishing for something with a star. You're hoping and praying something works out for you. But you're not in any rush, and I love that. Because let's be real, when we rush things, it, it gets a little sloppy. Have you ever tried to microwave a cake? You would rather bake it, right? Uh, I don't know, unless you got one of those cake mugs. Anywho, so let's take a look at the influence here, that Six of Wands. For some of you, you got a Leo that's giving you a lot of motivation, a lot of influence. And not just me, because I'm a Leo. <laughs> I feel like there's an actual Leo in your life or someone with Leo dominant um, in their birth chart. Why is that Six of Wands the influence? King of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, there's an energy around you that's trying to help you navigate some sort of decision. Okay, I feel like uh, you're getting a lot of attention, you're getting a lot of uh, recognition for something that you do. Okay, you may be, um, for some of you, there might be a situation where 
you're in a situation that wasn't bringing you a lot of fulfillment or happiness and you're being noticed for some sort of creative thing that you do okay and it's helping you get out of your your uh, energy of feeling bad about something okay it's like you're distracting yourself and like being more creative or trying to be more creative like you might have a hidden talent okay you might have a hidden talent that you're wanting to embark on why is that six of swords in the recent past the moon king of swords in reverse some of you guys were dealing with someone that was not being honest with you, was not being truthful with you, brought you down. King of Swords in Reverse is someone that just is not good for another person's energy. And you moved on from that. This could have been an ex. This could have been an employer or somebody. Okay, there were so many secrets with that moon energy. Why is that Seven of Pentacles in the far recent past? Why is that Seven of Pentacles in the far recent past? The world, look at that. Okay, the world is all about cycles closing for new ones to begin. But when you were investing your time and energy into whatever this is, there was always that lingering doubt that this is not something that you're supposed to be doing. Let's take a look at that um, moon, uh, no, the hermit. Let's take a look at the hermit card in your goals section. The hermit and the strength. Okay, your goal your attention right now is going within and just laying low. You're not really in a rush to do anything. I'm getting the same message. You're holding back. You're taming your passion right now with that strength card showing up again. So now I have the hermit being clarified by the hermit with the strength. And I got the strength card right underneath the hermit. Some of you guys are still getting over some sort of depression or some sort of uh, disappointment. Five of Cups. So why is that moon in Libra's near future? Why is the moon in Libra's near future? The Queen of Wands, look at that. All right, you're trying to be in touch with your intuition, all right, but while you're doing your, your internal work, you're building your confidence day by day. You're getting into that, that powerful energy where you're getting like, it's like putting a phone on a charger and letting the phone charge, and then when it's 100% ready, that's when the Queen of Wands takes action. Okay, why is that Five of Wands, Libra's energy and attitude about all this? Something stressed you out. Something was bringing, look at that, Nine of Swords and the Devil. I just said right before I got the Clarifier card out, something was stressing you out. Look at this, Nine of Swords is the, the most stressful card you can get. Insomnia, sleepless nights, tossing and turning. Some of you guys could have been in a toxic relationship or in a third party situation where you lost yourself a little bit, or there was a, a boss that was um, holding you back from using your potential or being paid what you deserved, or there was family members around you or some sort of environment that was not good for you. It was draining all of your energy, okay? Why is that star for the people that is around Libra or was around Libra? Why is that star here? You had high expectations for the people around you and they let you down, I feel like. Look at that. Ten of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Whoever these people were, they created a lot of burdens for you. Okay? There was one that was giving you some sort of stable opportunity with the Page of Pentacles, but even then you feel like that wasn't enough. Okay? So I feel like this is where you felt inclined to take some sort of new path with the Fool card, Aries energy. Okay? And look at that, Eight of Wands. I, I strongly feel like you're either talking to someone at a distance um, or there's travel around you or there's just you feeling very energetic. Why is that uh, Two of Wands in Libra's Hidden Emotions? Why is the Two of Wands in Libra's Hidden Emotions? Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. The Magician and the Temperance card, beautiful. This goes along with everything I've been saying this entire time. You're not in any rush with the Temperance card to make any quick decisions because you're in manifestation mode. And that's what the Hermit twice and the, um, the Moon is telling me. You're not in any rush right now because you're in manifestation mode. It's like you're keeping a couple months to yourself and just thinking about all the dreams that you want to 
create. Think about all the new opportunities that are around you and just manifesting what would bring you the most happiness. Okay? Not wanting to rush and get into a situation that you have to get out of a couple months later. Okay? You're like, what's the hurry? So why is the Ace of Wands in the outcome? The Lovers and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay? A lot of you guys are being pulled to some sort of love opportunity. But for others, there's someone that's helping you through a very huge transition in your life, whether it's a best friend, a family member, a love interest, a coworker, a mentor, someone's helping redirect your, your energy and your focus into a new path, whatever that means for you. Whatever that means for you. It could be a Gemini or an Earth sign, but you're taking a step back with the Two of Wands and not making any quick decisions. But after you do that, there's gonna be a lot of celebration around you. Why is that Three of Cups the overall energy? Why is that Three of Cups the overall energy? Look at that, the Knight of Wands. Fulfilling your passionate side, taking risks, going for an adventure, exploring the world, exploring your, your life a little bit differently, okay? In a career or life reading, the Knight of Wands is a very beautiful card. It's not just a player energy. It's someone that is an explorer. And I'm pulling in some Libras that are exploring their, their highest potential. Exploring what is really out there that is fulfilling and not settling for anything less than. All right, let me get some angel answers. Wonderful. Within the next few weeks, I feel like you're going to be um, realizing where your next, en your next direction is. Okay, you've got a lot of abundance around you guys, a lot of abundance, okay? Your passion always provides. Whatever you're starting, it's going to f feel very passionate for you with that Ace of Wands and your passion always provides. Just ask your angels, and I feel like you are doing this at this time with that moon and that hermit energy coming in strong, all right? So yeah, whatever you've got going on, I'm excited for you, Libra, all right? You just do what you got to do. Now, if this resonated, please rock that like and subscribe button. If you want me to get extra nosy, the link is to the extended is at the top of the comments. Bye, you guys.